All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to slice text or pretty much anything else. It doesn't have to be text inside Photoshop. And on my screen right now is the example of what I'll be doing. So first up here, what you're gonna to wanna to do is get your Photoshop opened up and make sure you have what you wanna cut up or slice up on a layer. So in this case, I have this text layer. So if I were to type that out, hit T on my keyboard for the type tool, click on the artboard here and then type that out. I'm just gonna enlarge this quite a bit so we can actually see what we're doing. So just line up your text or object before you get into this to a point where you feel like it is a good size and should be ready to go. And once you do that, if you're working with live type inside Photoshop or a smart object, perhaps you imported something from Illustrator, just make sure you go over to your layers palette and then right click on that text or smart object. And then from that, you want to select rasterize type or rasterize layer. This will just make sure that it becomes editable and you can go ahead and do the next thing we're gonna do here. But the really cool things to do this and make this really easy in Photoshop are a couple different things called layer via cut and layer via copy. So to do that, which will allow us to slice this thing up super easy, is you just wanna go over to your toolbar here and I tend to use the polygonal lasso tool. So it's usually up here in the upper left-hand corner. You can click and hold that. Sometimes it'll default to normal lasso tool, but if you click and hold that, you can use the polygonal lasso tool, but you can use whatever one you prefer. You can make a selection with a pen tool. You can make a selection with the lasso tool. It, it doesn't really matter however you wanna select what you're trying to slice up here. But in this case, I'm just gonna use the polygonal lasso tool in order to draw a selection around this type and try to make it look somewhat similar to the example I have. So in this case, once this closes off and becomes a complete selection, I can then right click while this selection is active. And from that, there's a few different options that are gonna be important here. There's layer via copy, which will copy the selected area into its own layer, or layer via cut, which will basically cut it out of the active layer and create a brand new layer. So for this one, I'm gonna do layer via cut, which will go ahead and make a new one. So here my layers palette is a new layer that was created. If I turn the visibility on and off, you can see how easy it is to very quickly make this a cut or sliced effect. So at this point, I can just select the top layer in the layers palette, select over here to the move tool. You can hit V on your keyboard if you want to do that a little bit quicker. And then you can just go ahead and move this around until it looks the way you want it to look. So super easy to do very fast and just a, a really efficient way to work. And the same thing applies for the layer via copy. So if I select this bottom one right here, then I'll make a new selection. I hit L on my keyboard for that polygonal lasso tool. I'm just gonna make a random selection here. It doesn't really matter what I pick and then complete my selection so it's active. And if I were to do this again with layer via copy, as opposed to layer via cut, it'll copy this layer. So now there's two of them. So if I were to turn either one of these on, you can now see that there are two. So in this case, I'm just gonna move the copied one a little bit. I'm gonna change the color slightly, not really too concerned about what this looks like, just trying to show that it's also a really great way to copy stuff. So if you wanna make a duplication effect where this is kind of slightly offset, it doesn't really matter what you choose to do with it. It's much more of a thing where if you wanna use this as a way to copy stuff as opposed to just cutting it, that is another way. So I do hope you found this helpful. And if you wanted to recreate what I did pretty exactly, the font I use is called LC Black. It's a totally free font. I'll be sure to link that in the description. And if you did find this video helpful, please hit the thumbs up button to let me know. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comments section. And if you wanna see more stuff like this, please subscribe. I'll do my best to keep creating new videos just like this. Thank you so much for watching.